My name is Scott Clayton. I started working on GroupWise during Office 4.0 development. We've come a long way since then. I'm excited to show you some of the new stuff we've been working on for GroupWise 2012. It's now easier than ever before to create a recurring appointment, an appointment that includes more than one instance. To do that, simply click on the Recurrence button in the middle of your updated appointment view. You'll see a menu that shows you the different patterns that you can choose from, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Once you decide the pattern that you want to use, you can also set a range. And you can do that in one of two ways. You can choose a start and an end date, or you can simply choose the number of occurrences that you want it to span. At the bottom of this dialog, you'll see a preview that will indicate in bold the days that your appointment will show on. Now, if you want to create an appointment that doesn't match one of these simple patterns, you can get to the dialog that you used in previous releases by clicking on Customize. We hope that you find using Recurrence in GroupWise 2012 easier than ever before. Another new thing that we've added in GroupWise 2012 is the ability to modify an existing appointment. So in those cases where you forgot to put somebody on the distribution list, all you have to do is right click on the appointment and choose Edit. You can make changes to the distribution list, the message body, or anything really. You can make the changes that you want to make and then simply hit Send. Now depending on the types of changes, the recipients might get a different experience. Let's say you made changes to the time and the place. That's considered a significant change, and each of the recipients will be forced to re-accept that appointment so they can acknowledge the big changes. But if you made small changes, like you simply added someone to the distribution list, or you changed the message body or the subject, users who'd already accepted that appointment won't be required to re-accept it. What they will see on their calendar, the changed appointment will show in bold, and when they open it up, there will be an information banner at the top of the appointment describing the changes that were made. Another new feature that we put into GroupWise 2012 is the ability to take an existing appointment and use it as a template. To do that, you right-click on the appointment and choose Duplicate. That will populate the appointment view with all the data from the previous appointment, so you can choose to keep what you want and change anything else. And when you hit send, a new appointment will go to the recipients of your appointment. We've had a lot of fun working on GroupWise 2012, and we hope you enjoy using it. And we look forward to making it even better in the future. <laughs>